They vowed that your marriage is going down. They vowed that your marriage is going down and you had no idea why. Now this is why. Hallelujah, glory to God. Welcome to Papa San Marita, please. With Pastor Honoring, I have a word for someone. Now, the enemy, the devil is after marriages, not just your marriage, but after marriages. He is, he has two assignments, destroying the marriages that already held and then preventing those who are not married from getting married. And then you wonder, right from the beginning, right from the creation of man, the devil came to the garden and it was, and you wonder why it was after marriage. What is marriage so important to the devil? Why is the devil so angry at marriage? I'm going to give us a few reasons why. Because sometimes you are fighting a battle and you don't even understand. Or the devil is fighting you and you don't even know why he's fighting you. So it's better that someone beats you up for something you are even aware and conscious of. Rather than that they beat you up for nothing and you have no clue what you did wrong. You have no clue what, why they are beating you up. So you are just a victim for nothing. It's better that you have understanding and make the best of it. Now, the first thing is that marriage is one institution that the devil has never understood. The devil has never understood the concept of two people becoming one. And let me tell you something. You being, you as an individual created in the image and the likeness of God is already a force to reckon with. You as an individual created in the image and likeness of God. And then guess what? The Bible says, and then you carry the Holy Spirit in the inside of you. The Bible says, he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. It means that the God in you as an individual is way greater than the God, than, than the devil. It's way greater than the enemy. It's way greater than every other power out there. And then now imagine that two people Created in the image and the likeness of God, carrying the Holy Spirit in the inside of them, are to then come together to become one. Uh, now, let me explain to us. When marriage is a practical representation of the Godhead, because you bring forth children. Now, the, the, the Godhead, we, 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 we go, God is a trap, God is trapatide, right? He, we, we have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now, the, the, the head of the family is the Father. God has given him that title, the man, that title of the Father. And then we, you give birth to children, you give birth to sons and daughters. In, in the spirit realm, we are all sons. So you have sons. And, and then imagine if you are a Christian, your husband is a Christian, you give birth to children who are Christians as well. And then the wife is the helpmate, the helper. That was the name given to the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the, the, the wife is to her husband what the Holy Spirit is to humanity. So we have, so the family is an expression of the, or, 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 of the, of the Godhead. The family, the idea, the concept of the family is an expression of the Godhead. And then guess what? You come together and you are one family. You form one. You form one. So imagine how powerful this bond is. Imagine how powerful this union is. The devil will never ever understand why God would do such a thing. And then guess what? God placed man and his wife in the garden of Eden. And gave to them chiefly what the devil was casted out of heaven because he desired to have. And guess what? Eden used to be the devil's habitat, to be in the Lucifer's habitat before the fall. So it was like God used man and his wife to replace the devil. The devil has never understood that. And he has reason. He will never stop coming after you, nor coming after your marriage. That is just the first thing. And then the second reason why the devil is so bent after your marriage is... We see this in Matthew chapter 18 and verse 19. The Bible says,
Again, truly I tell you that if two of you on earth agree about anything they ask for, it will be done for them by the Father in heaven. <coughs> Excuse. He says, if two of you agree about anything, if you unanimously with one heart agree about anything. Now, this already means that two people, two ordinary people, it doesn't mean. So imagine if these are two people that have already become one. Not one spirit or one flesh. <coughs> Excuse me. Two people that have already become one flesh. If they now come together and ask anything from God. It will not be denied them by their father. It will not be denied. Now, the idea of two people coming together to make a request and agree on something. It works all the time. We see this in, in, in the book of Acts. Every time the, the Bible was so detailed to mention all the times that they prayed that they were in one accord. They came together in one accord. They came together in one accord. They came together in one accord. When they prayed, there was a shaking. They came together in one accord. It means when you and your spouse, the two that have already become one, when you come together in agreement about something, there is no way God will turn a blind eye. There is no way God will not answer. There is no way God will not hear you. Unfortunately, many of of us don't even make the best of this and the, and the devil is attacking us for it but we don't even make the best of it there is no way the devil will not answer when the two become one so you realize that the idea the concept of a family is one powerful concept that the devil will not rest until he destroys and then and then imagine that what the things that you're praying for as a single, you might ask and God ignores. But when you come together with this person and you pray and agree on that, God will not turn a blind eye. It means that whatsoever you need is made available. And then it doesn't end there. Now, the Bible says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And obtains favor with the Lord. And guess what? Before you are even found a wife, it takes the favor of God over you. We see this. The, 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 most often, divine marriages are always as a result of the favor of God. We can see this in Mary. The angel comes and says, you are highly favored. The, you getting married to Joseph is because you are highly favored. We can see that in Esther. The Bible says Esther found favor with the king. So every destiny marriage, every divine marriage is a product of favor. So the woman finds favor and the man finds favor. And the moment that happens, the, it means that when the two of you come together, you are as a couple, marriage is an open door license to favor. Marriage gives you validation to the oil of favor. Marriage opens the jar for the oil of favor to flow on both you and your husband. It means what you've not been able to accomplish by labor, by reason of favor, you're going to accomplish it. By reason of favor, you're going to accomplish it. So God adds favor to your labor. So life becomes easier. Life is supposed to become easier. Say, but pastor, I've been married, but things have not been easy. One, my people perish for lack of knowledge. What you don't know is bigger than you. And then secondly, sometimes there are people that, have, that are going through their process. I've been through a process. And I went through that process already in marriage. And I remember receiving a prophecy and my father, spiritual father telling me what's ahead of you to you and your husband is so big, but the process to get there is not easy. So it could be that you're going through a process or it could be that you have no idea or you're not making the best of this. And then last but not the least is that when the devil attacks a marriage, it's not the oh and destroys a marriage it's not destroying one life it's destroying the man the woman and children if children are already involved so you see destroying attacking a marriage is 
a shortcut for more destruction than than wasting time on one person so why not waste time why not invest that time in one marriage and you destroy a multitude of people a multitude of people than to just waste time on one person you see this is the reason why your marriage has been under attack but i connect my faith with you today and i pray for you i pray and i build a wall of protection around you around your marriage around your family and i decree that no weapon forged against you or your marriage shall prosper in the mighty name of jesus i raise a wall of protection and i decree the enemy will not see you in the name of jesus every tongue that has risen against you every word that was spoken against you i silence it in the mighty name of jesus every negative pronouncement working against your marital destiny i i annul it in the name of jesus and i undo its effect on your marriage on your life in the mighty name of jesus i decree that you're getting married in the name of jesus i decree that your marriage will be blissful in the name of jesus i decree that the enemy will not see you or your marriage in the name of jesus i decree that your children are growing up to be your joy and pride in the name of jesus i decree that your marriage will be a model kingdom marriage that you will not endure but you will enjoy in the mighty name of jesus amen if you feel like this word was for you connect to it and now you have understanding you have better understanding make the best of it god bless you shalom